Hello everyone, today I'm going to be teaching you how to make an FPS UI. So let's get started. Okay, so I already made a UI showing just a text label inside a screen UI. It's nothing too special. And I just put FPS in front of it because why not? Okay, so now we're going to create a script. So the first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to call run service. So that's game, get service, run service. And I'm just going to do RS for short. And then we're going to create a variable called frames. And we're just going to set this to zero. Okay, so now we're going to do RS or run service dot render step connect function. And this is an event that fires every computer frame. So if you have 60 frames, this will fire 60 frames per second. So yeah. Uh, now we're just going to add up the frames. So you can so we can just do frames equals frames plus one and then we make a while loop so we do while wait one do so basically this is an infinite loop that will run every second and we're just gonna set our text we're gonna set the text to just the frames and then we're gonna set frames to zero okay so now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna test so now if we just test it's going to display our average frame so as you can see it's displaying it so yeah okay as you can see our frames is 60 so that means we are running on 60 frames per second now it's kind of going as you can see it's going one over sometimes that's normal that happens to basically every single frame rate thing or frame rate UI not just in Roblox um okay so let's say you want to add some text so basically we can do FPS and then it shows our frames so what we're gonna do to do that is that we're gonna add string some string and then use a dot dot to connect the string with the number so the number will change to a, a string and yeah we can just do FPS and then yeah so if we gotta add a space so that way it doesn't look like this instead it will look like this so yeah so if we can this is if you want some text in the, before the frames if you want text after you can just do you can connect the string at the end so yeah we also need a space here so that way it doesn't displace this it will display that so yeah so now if we just test this as you can see you see our it will say this much frames and then FPS here so basically I just changed the frame rate to 30 as you can see it's more choppy because it's lower frame rate as, as you can see it's going 30 so now we can do something a bit higher, like 120. And as you can see, it's going to go to 120 frames. Uh, my normal frame rate is 144. So as you can see, it's going to 144 and staying there. So I guess I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope this helps you. And yeah, see ya.